So finally, that uh, with, with the Rambo game on, England are playing against uh, Brazil today, and that'll be on the screens at about seven o'clock tonight. Seven o'clock kickoff. Um, enjoy the game. The sun's come out. Let's make lots of noise. Let's help the boys now. It's a big game. It's fourth versus fifth. Come on, boys. Let's, let's let's get straight at this. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's make some noise. Afternoon, everybody. Then welcome along to Billersley Common for this afternoon's Nat One fixture. It's Plymouth Albion travelling to Birmingham Mosley uh, for today's clash. It is fourth against fifth in National League One. And uh, first of all, just a few apologies for the late start on the commentary. We've just been working our way through some technical issues up here on the gantry before we get going this afternoon. But uh, Jack, as we uh, Jack Sanders, as, as we get here in the Midland sunshine today. It's so far, as you can see, a bit of a positive start for Plymouth Albion. Good ball in hand. Just as I say that, it goes forward from Paul Brown Bampo. Uh, advantage then for Mosley as Angus Hodges jumps on it, knocks it on again. And uh, Mosley in possession with the advantage going their way as well. Alton steals it, uh, but the knock on has gone Mosley's way. So, uh, a quite competitive start, but uh, Mosley with the upper hand early doors. Yeah. Lovely to be here in the, uh, as you said, the Midland sunshine, which I don't think people are really used to up here in no. these parts. Bit of sunshine in this time of year. Lovely to be here. Uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, bright start from uh, from Birmingham. We're looking for a bright start from Albion today after finally bouncing back to a win at home last week against Richmond. Uh, and we're looking for our first away win in quite a long time, Rob. So, yeah, hopefully today is that day. But uh, as we as we say that, uh, Birmingham do have a scrum just outside Albion's 22 uh, which should give them a good chance to uh, to make the first proper attack of the game so we'll see what happens here First scrum then as you say of the afternoon mostly with a few changes to their side from their defeat to Blackheath last time out in London Joe Foreman misses out Sam McNulty moves to hooker uh, Morgan French then moves into number six with Sam McNulty going into the front row uh, Ty Maxwell Wheatley as well uh, comes off the bench to play at number 10. Elliot Creed has gone over to the left wing. Uh, Rob Knox is back in uh, with Isaac McNulty missing out. Oli Alsop has switched from 10 to 13 this afternoon. Aquil Smith is on the right wing uh, with uh, Dan Brow as well uh, coming in. And Ryan Roach, uh, Tuo Godo and Freddie Painter uh, all coming back onto the bench for Mosley this afternoon. Out of the scrum then comes the ball and uh, Maxwell Whiteley and over it comes to the fullback Brow. Nodding his way forward is Smith. Oh, 
as Mosley looked to drive deeper into the Albion 22. And a really strong drive by Morgan French as he comes up towards the line, but the penalty will go Birmingham Mosley's way. Uh, Aquil Smith and uh, Elliot Creed have swapped. So we've got Creed uh, wearing number 14, Smith wearing number 11. Uh, at the start of the game this afternoon. As you can see, Plymouth Albion dressed all in white oh. today. And the decision is to go for the post then for Birmingham Mosley and try to collect three points to start the afternoon. And that's something uh, that we haven't seen from Albion uh, in, in recent weeks, but we did see uh, at home against Richmond taking the points when they were on offer. Um, and I think it's a good choice here from, from Birmingham to to get their game up and running, uh, to try and get the scoreboard ticking early doors. And yes, there is an opportunity for a try this close to the try line, but three points on the board is better than none. So I, I think this is a good decision from, from Birmingham early on here. They have scored 17 times in the opening 10 minutes of games so far this season. Chance here to grab the first three points of the afternoon at Bilsley Common. It is slotted home by Maxwell Whitley. And that's the first three points then for Mosley today. 15 of their oh, games Pats have involved going tries quick. in the opening 10 minutes. 22 tries in total within those 15 games. And they've won nine of those 15. On the flip side of, uh, of what we just said, though, Rob, that it's not disastrous for Plymouth. Being 7-0 down this early on. Uh, would be would be a, a tough start, but just the three uh, it isn't, as I say, too disastrous for Albion early doors. Good take by Brown Bampo as he looks to bring it forward, and Alton brings it out of the ruck. Rukadze back to Eastgate, eventually well brought down uh, by the second row. Callum Allen Pullinger looks to drive forward. Out it comes to Putt. Has Clemson for support, goes on with the help of Ratu Kadriou. Clemson nudging it forward. And eventually the penalty uh, will go Plymouth Albion's way. Right, so Rob, what would you do here? Similar position to where uh, where Birmingham won a penalty to take their three points. Do you look for three points here or are we kicking for the corner? Uh, I think... Looks like they're going to kick yeah, for the corner. But the corner. I really didn't want to be put in that spot. <laughs> <laughs> so Putts will go for the corner for Plymouth Albion here. Did surpass 100 points in the last away trip at Blackheath. Tom Putt added 13 more to the tally against Richmond last time out. Gabe Mead with this line out then for Plymouth Albion. 18th appearance of the season for him didn't feature against Mosley at the Brickfields in November he's the uh, second highest scoring hooker for Albion this campaign only two behind Harry Wilkinson now having scored four tries it's been a very good debut season indeed for Gabe Mead as Albion look to drive forward into the 22 Alton brings it out Archie Hill and eventually the ball's been lost forward so Mosley back in possession and away it goes by the scrum half Jack Jolly and uh, the line out then going Albion's way still a decent attack in position here Jack for, for Plymouth Albion yeah definitely I mean could have given away a, a, a scrum there in, in the Birmingham 22 uh, but we still got momentum here, as you say, from a from a good attacking position just outside the Birmingham 22, uh, and a good push here on the mall could get us into into a scoring position. It's well taken by Jake Clemson, and Alton brings it out, and he's got Morgan Stone running to his left, and it's a very good tackle by Jolly on Stone. Right idea, I think, from Alts, but uh, just just ran out of room. Morgan, not much, uh, not much he could do there. Tried to keep it in, but. But as you saw, ran out of room and a disappointing end to what could have been a, a good position there. And Birmingham now have the, the line out right on their own 22. A very nice competitive start, though, from Plymouth Albion today. Those 
Uh, 17 scores, by the way, were tries for Mosley in the opening 10 minutes of games, but they certainly do have a habit of scoring in the opening 10. And looking to establish a habit within the 80 minutes today of a strong drive. And away it goes once again by Jolly. Morgan Stone is underneath this, and it's really well brought down by the makeshift winger today. Elliot Creed with the tackle. And Alton has support from Makepeace and Rukadzi, who will drive forward and uh, knocks over Ollie Southgate. Great little step from Gabe Mead. Mead could be away for Albion. He's got Morgan Stone to his left. He cuts inside. He's got Tom Putt there with him. He's been brought down. And Albion unable to take advantage at the moment. And then Mosley with the penalty. Incredible there from Gabe Mead to get away from two or three men. It looked like he was going to go all the way on his own. Offloaded it to Morgan Stone. Another cheeky step from him, but just lost his footing at the vital moment. I don't think it was a tackle. Looked like he just slipped or, or tripped. And uh, unfortunately, then a penalty given away straight after. And and Birmingham, I think, have been left let off the hook there, Rob, really, rather than, uh, rather than any real sort of good defending or anything. It is Morgan Stone's fourth consecutive start on the wing this afternoon and he's done well there hasn't he? he's got tremendous pace seems to understand the role really well he's obviously having been a, a scrum half pre predominantly he's he's really slotted into that role very well yeah very good player good young player of course as well i think youngest player we've got isn't it um yeah looks he looks good in in any position i think he's he's played in for albion but yeah i think the position he's playing in today is definitely his best oh albion have nicked it and here comes Dan Pullinger now for Albion. Running over his uh, opposite number, David Langley. Good attacking intent, early doors from Albion. Alton, Hill, Ratu Kadriou looking to bring it forward. Jake Bond, who is at number eight today, helping him on. Eastgate to putt. Albion will come the other way. Here's Jake Bond with Makepeace nudging him forward. Rakadzi's there too. It's a very good tackle with Mosley helping to just push Ooh. Albion back. In goes Langley with the tackle. Clepson, and it's almost been taken by the centre, Oli Allsop, but it has come out to Angus Hodges now on the other side for Plymouth Albion. Tries to get it back to Ratu Kadru. Creed's in the way. He is offside, and the penalty has gone Plymouth Albion's way. Is this a good opportunity to just get the points on the board now for Albion or are you looking for the corner again, Rob? Uh, it depends what it looks like they're going to do and then I'll give you the answer <laughs> based on what it looks like it's about to happen. Uh, <laughs> of course, mostly three points to the good at the moment if you've just joined us. A penalty early doors converted uh, by Ty Maxwell-Whitley oh. and it is going to be a scrum. Um, well, that answers your question Rob, doesn't that, it? That is the answer to that question, yeah. That's the reason I don't Neither. give you these answers straight away. Good position though to uh, to really push on from this scrum and and get the first try of the try of the afternoon here uh, on a sunny day in South Birmingham. Would you say? Yeah, definitely it's just more all south the same. Than Birmingham's north. just all the same, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's the same place. Yeah, it's just city in the Midlands. There you go. Water on then for Albion and Mosley. Time off from the referee this afternoon, Ben Woods. Time back on again with. Uh, is it Ben Woods? Is it? Back off. If I remember correctly, it's Ben Woods. Don't think you do. Have you heard differently? On the coach, yeah. What was? It? What, what I was said Ben Woods. Did you? Was a different one. That's oh, who right. we were talking about. I thought it was. Um, can't remember his name. No, but it wasn't Ben. I remember that. It's not. So it might be Ben Woods, but I don't think it is. We need to. Well, we need to look that up at half time. Fairly certainly was Ben Woods, but never mind. We'll go ask him. We'll go ask him at half time what his name go is. Go in his change room and ask for his name. <laughs> Just for the comms. Jack Alton then with the put in at this scrum. The sooner we can get the scrum started, the better it is for us two up here. Any time today would be ideal, Rob, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah they take, take a minute, don't they? The least amount of time we're in Birmingham for the better, I'd say. <laughs> no comment. In it goes then from Alton. Eastgate making the run, and there he is, and the penalty will go. Birmingham Mosley's way. 
bit of a pattern emerging here early on, Rob, of uh, getting into good positions once again, and whether it be in mistakes, penalties, uh, slowing good moves down, and hopefully that's not going to carry on throughout the game as we've seen in in recent weeks. Great job there from Morgan Stone. In. Yeah, Morgan Stone's done very well with it. Oh, looks to bounce off McNulty and French. Alton back to Mead. His bond. Mead helping him forward. Back it comes to Eastgate. Oh, brilliant ball to Torin Clark. Clark now breaks away for Albion. Ratu Kadru is in support. It's a good tackle initially by Brow, and Pullinger now takes it on. More white shirts going in to help out. Alton. And Hill looks to kick it through. That's a brilliant kick. And Paul Bampo's almost going to get there, but not quite. It just runs dead. But a good effort by Hill. A good idea. And uh, meanwhile, down is Dan Pullinger after that passage of play. So he'll just get a little bit of treatment. But again, forcing themselves into some really good areas. Plymouth Albion and getting themselves close to the try and of course another penalty on its way yes um, yeah well most of this game apart from the first two or three minutes has, has been played inside Birmingham's half and really inside there in and around their 22 so it's definitely been a brighter start for Albion than we've seen in in recent weeks away from home um, but the result's going to be the same as we've seen in, in recent weeks away from home if, if they can't capitalise on those situations that they get themselves into and, and get the ball over that try line, really. And as this first half wears on with Birmingham, even just three points ahead, uh, I'd imagine we're going to see maybe some kicks over the post from Albion to, to start, this, start this scoreboard ticking because if it stays on zero for too long, uh, Birmingham could run away with it even though they are only three points ahead so uh, I think Albion do need to start getting this this scoreboard ticking here Mosley scrum then as uh, we get back underway after that short stoppage seven points separating Mosley and Albion coming into match day 23 of the season just the four to go including this one in 23-24 out it comes then and it's found its way to Allsop and that's actually worked out quite well for Mosley and the penalty's got Albion's way so Plymouth Albion once again with the opportunity to apply some more pressure as they look for their first win here since 2020 and it is going to be a kick for the corner here Rob so still not looking uh, to get that scoreboard ticking over with a kick over the post, but looking to take the lead here uh, around halfway into this first half now. And they're in a good position with that good kick there from Tom Putt. So this could be a real big chance here for Plymouth Albion to get the ball into the line out, into a mall and push themselves over the line here to take the lead. I don't envy anyone that's parked their car over there no that's their fault really isn't that's, it that's a, that's a sweat inducing situation yeah. the ball at least it's not there. a cricket pitch though <laughs> it's been stolen the line out mostly back in possession as uh, Aquil Smith helps to jump on it and it will come back and away it goes and out for an Albion line out and there you go onto the roof of one of the cars it goes quite a, quite a sturdy roof though that so <laughs> that'll be alright it must get quite frustrating out there on the pitch, getting yourselves into positions like that week on week uh, and not being able to find the hands in the line out uh, when it matters most. Uh, Gabe's got another chance here to uh, to do so and hopefully this one will find the hands of an Albion player, which it does. Yeah, Clemson bringing that one down and Albion now looking to drive forward. It's a good drive by Mosley though. The ball's dropped out of the mall. Referee says it's gone backwards, so... Albion will continue in possession. Some of the supporters don't necessarily agree. Eastgate looks to kick in behind, and Daniel Brown might have a little bit of a job to do here, but no, it has gone dead. Uh, Albion were playing with an advantage, I believe. Yep, so uh, that kick from Eastgate. Experimental, knowing that they had the advantage with them. A bit of a free ball. 
and Tom Putt is going to go back into the corner and Albion are going to look to put a try on the board this afternoon. Most of this first half so far has been played in this part of the pitch. Albion have responded well to going behind, but can they find the score to take them in front before half-time? This needs to find the hands of a, of a man in white and red here because it's the second time we've got ourselves into this position. The first time uh, Birmingham were able to steal it and these are the positions that uh, the boys will have been working on hard in training. Um, trying to get themselves as many points as they can and this is a this is a moment to do just that uh, and we can't keep letting these sorts of situations slip away from us because well we won't we won't win the game will we Rob so this is a this is a massive chance for Albion here that was Michael Owen-esque yeah I know yeah from, thank uh, you from yourself Jack I've been watching some of his videos <laughs> on YouTube <laughs> and it goes from Mead it's found Clemson and once again the drive by Albion Mead at the back of it and he's taken the ball with him Hill goes in to help out and here's Ratu Kadriou and he's almost there it's a really good tackle to deny him for the moment has held he gone up. over no he hasn't ball's been held up and excellent defending once again then by Birmingham Mosley very very close for Peter Ratu Kadriou uh, who was looking for his fifth try of the season yeah great effort there from Peter uh, looked like he'd been tackled just before the try line but somehow managed to stay on his feet and, and carry on but yeah well defended there from Birmingham to, to hold it up on the line and stop Albion from taking the lead in this game but it's looking quite quite tense quite tight out there but I don't think we've seen the ball inside Albion's half for a good 15 minutes now so uh, that tells you who the pressure is on and going back to my uh, Michael Owen videos I've been watching mm. um, I'm just going to impart this on all the viewers whoever scores the most points will win this game of rugby so that's a big one there for you you should be a profit yeah well I think I am to be fair yeah all those all those Gandhi quotes are rubbing off on you as well never back the early kickoff. <laughs> that's a good Gandhi quote bit of a break here Rob um, been yeah it's been a it's been a good game so far I definitely think Albion have been have been on top, but that early early penalty for Birmingham has has put them in the lead. And as of yet, Albion deciding against kicking over the post for three points. So Birmingham do lead, but Albion putting all the pressure on and and looking good to to take the lead before half time here, Rob. Yeah, well, there have been some close games this season for Birmingham Mosley. They've been involved in three one point games and two two point games so far this term. They've lost two of those one-point games against Rosslyn Park and, of course, against Plymouth Albion. That late dramatic showing and that late try from Jake Bond snatching the win at the Brickfields. They won one at Darlington Modem Park and they've actually won both of the games uh, that have been decided by two points against Blackheath at home and against Richmond as well. And there have been some very, very entertaining games indeed involving Birmingham Mosley this season. Here comes Tom Putt then for Albion looking to break through the line it's a very good tackle on him but Rakadzi now looks to break and Albion looking to drive into the heart of the Mosley defence and Archie Hill Clemson breaking through it's a good tackle by Allen make peace now for Plymouth Albion good tackle on him partially by uh, Ethan Priest was in there and it's worked its way out now to Paul Brown. Bampo Oof. and Jolly with the tackle. Bampo advantage runs Albion. past him. Yeah, penalty advantage from the referee. Rakadzi now for Albion. Back it comes to Conor Eastgate. It's found its way back to Hill. And his kick over the top is for Ratu Kadriou. It's been collected by Creed. And will come back then for the Albion penalty. Looked like a high tackle there on, uh, on, on Paul in the corner. So is it Paul? Yeah, Paul, yeah. yeah, Paul Brown Bampo on loan from the Exeter Chiefs. He actually hasn't played uh, any official, let's say, senior men's rugby within the, the rugby pyramid in England. He's played Super Bucks rugby so far. Looks lively, doesn't he? Got a, got a sharp turn of pace on him, which we saw against uh, Richmond at home where he set up... Uh, rather incredible try really wasn't it but yeah uh, he's got a lot of pace on him and, and should cause trouble for for these nat one defenses for sure 
He's got four tries and nine appearances for Durham University in Buck Super Rugby so far this season. Brown Bampo got uh, the assist last week and the line-out's not straight. How many times, Rob, are we going to get ourselves into the corner, ready to score a try and the line-out doesn't go our way? We've seen it so many times, especially away from home this season and don't know what's going on, is it? What's happening? You're the coach, what's happening? Tell me. <laughs> Uh, what's hap it's Jarv's down there, I can't speak to him, yeah. so you tell me what's going on. What's happening is, it's just not quite working, is it? Cheers, Michael. So there you go. Um, yeah, the ball isn't going over that line over there, right. where, where the posts are. <laughs> and so as a result, we're not scoring tries. Like that. Is it a matter of time, though, before Albion find that breakthrough? Because as you say, the longer it goes on with that zero on the board, the more Mosley might just feel as though they could break away and add to their tally. But and there's a penalty for Birmingham Mosley off the scrum. And this is then a decent opportunity for the host this afternoon to break out of their 22 and actually start making more progress into the Albion half because they did that very well in the opening couple of minutes of this afternoon's game. And uh, looking to progress now in towards the 22 once more. Yeah, they've been they've been penned in there for a good 20 minutes now, I'd say, um, which a lot of teams would crumble under that sort of pressure. But Birmingham have, uh, have defended well with the help of some poor mistakes from Albion and still have that three-point lead on the board. Mostly then playing through the hands as Jolly goes left to Allen. Really powerful run by Butler. Ooh. Oh, and then a miscommunication between Jolly and Smith. But the penalty had already gone uh, Mosley's way. So although that particular breakaway didn't quite come off, they have still got another opportunity to play themselves forward and get themselves into the Albion half as uh, Maxwell Whitley prepares the kick upfield. And it goes for an Albion line out. This is something you haven't seen for a good 20, 25 minutes. Uh, Birmingham are now in Plymouth Albion's half. So uh, there is actually yeah, two halves of this pitch and mostly are in Albion's half now. So that's what you're seeing. It's gone long. Uh, the line not out. anymore. Meade's taken it. Torin Clark looks to bring it forward. Clark's first start since the uh, Leicester game in February. Smith kicks it upfield. Alton's underneath it. And it has gone out for an Albion line out. So a good position again then for Plymouth Albion to try and attack that 22. And they are keeping Mosley very well penned in. It's just literally that scoring bit that isn't quite quite <laughs> happening at the minute yeah cutting edge i think is the word you were looking for there rob yeah perfect um, that, that's a catchphrase that not a catchphrase that's a phrase that you know that i don't. yes yeah there you go um yeah it's a position we found ourselves in numerous times in this half so far and not really made anything from it and it's a good chance to do so here uh but that's Ooh. just not very good at all is it yeah miscommunication at the line out for Albion and that gives possession back to Mosley. A little bit of a gift unfortunately for Birmingham Mosley there who will once again get the opportunity from the scrum to get back in possession and try and make some progress up towards the Plymouth Albion half. One thing we noticed Jack when we got here this afternoon was despite the the showers that we've had this afternoon the pitch is looking fantastic. Yeah um the water just seems to, I don't know, just disappear yeah, on it. It's gone. Um, I mean, there are patches that look muddy, but uh, on inspection, they don't feel muddy underfoot. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice to play on, really. Uh, yeah, as you said, tipping it down on the way up at, at times and rain when we arrived into Birmingham. But yeah, the pitch has handled it really well and, and looks like a great one for, for both sets of teams to play on today. Albion with three wins in the last five against Birmingham Mosley. 
looking to make it four, but this is a good break here from Mosley through Allsop. Penalty advantage for Mosley for the high tackle. And we will come back for that penalty now. The tackle around the shoulder. And uh, as a result, Mosley with another opportunity with, with <laughs> Maxwell Whitley uh, to bring themselves up towards halfway. Perhaps over halfway, yeah, indeed, from Maxwell Whitley, who was featured in all 23 games now for Mosley this season. He scored last weekend against Blackheath. He's also got tries against Sale, Darlington, Modern Park, Stortford, Titans, Richmond as well. All seven of his tries this term have come this side of Christmas as well, so he's really found his scoring streak r recently. Must have had a good Max Christmas, though. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Some good turkey over the Christmas period has really fueled him up for those tries as uh, Maxwell Whitley now finds oh. Will safe. It's an excellent tackle by Conor Eastgate to prevent his progress. It's bounced away from Priest and fallen for Creed. Penalty for Albion this time. Really good work at the breakdown uh, by Torrin Clark to help win that one. It's a bit of penalty tennis, really, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, it seems to be... Uh, it's a good kick, that, from Putts. Yeah, it seems to be... A very good kick. Mm. It seems to be, um, yeah, like you say, getting him to positions to make something happen. Not not even to make a try, just to make something happen in the opposition half. And a uh, penalty goes against one team. Other team get the ball and give away a penalty themselves. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit... Bit of ping pong at the moment, as you said, but um, but another massive chance here for Albion inside Birmingham's 22, and this line-out needs to be perfect because it hasn't been so far. Once again, it's Clemson going up. And it's, it's gone beyond again. him. Here's Smith. Jolly. Whitley. Really well works this, and now here's Daniel Brow, and... Looks to get away from Putts, he's dropped it. Allsop looks to kick it forward. Alter now in possession for Albion, looks to jink away from the centre, and he's done so. Oh, well, eh? Brilliant run this by Jack Alter, eventually stopped by Jolly. Penalty advantage going Albion's way for the high tackle. And Tom Putt then with another opportunity to take this one in towards the corner. Up it goes then by the fullback, and Albion's line out will be just inside that 22. So the lineouts haven't been going incredibly well so far, but see if uh, Gabe Mead and Jake Clemson can change that. In it goes. It's make piece this time that collects it. So good effect as well. Clark runs it forward. Good tackle by Southgate. And Hodges looking to break through. Creed in there with the tackle. Alton and Eastgate and Stone and Torin Clark for Albion. And Jack Alton runs in. And Plymouth Albion have the first try of the afternoon. Yeah, finally uh, a well-worked line out. We've seen some poor ones today, but uh, Scott Makepeace finally able to, to get hold of one. Played out into the centre of the 22, worked back out. Good work from uh, from Morgan Stone there, and then uh, Jack Olton peeled off round the edge, got into the corner and dotted down. And finally, Albion have made a attacking position work for them and have a f well a, w a two point lead at the moment. But a good kick here from Tom Putt will lead them into a four point lead as we approach half time here uh, in Birmingham. Seventh try, uh, excuse me, sixth try of the season for Jack Holton. Puts him level with Harry Wilkinson now. Thoughts on the blonde hair? Uh, a bit slim shady, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I can, I can go with that, yeah. But better. <laughs> Tom Putt. Oh, oh, just about misses it. It's very, very close indeed. It pings off the outside of the post. Some uh, some playful jeers there from uh, the Birmingham fans as it looked like it was going going way wide and then as it came in a bit I think there was some hearts and mouths from Birmingham fans there but Albion now 5-3 up taking the lead as we have about 
just less than 10 minutes uh, go before half time here and Albion do have the lead by two points, 5-3. Mostly then looking for a response as up it goes by Maxwell Whitley. It's collected by Clemson who sort of collided with Morgan Stone. Alton kicks it upfield. Will Safe is underneath that one. Ooh. Whenever it comes to Daniel Brow, who just about collected it. Good run this as well Ooh. by Brow. Brilliant stuff. Ooh. And then it's gone behind Allsop. And uh, it has gone for a line out as a result. Gave me then with another put in this time for Plymouth Albion. The win over Richmond was actually the first in just under a month, the last being at home to Cinderford on the 17th of February. With uh, Blackheath and Chinna in between. Torrin Clark again making really good progress up towards halfway. Rakadzi, good tackle by Priest to partially force him back. And Alton now back to Eastgate. Up she goes. Ratu Kadru looks to get underneath it and almost gets through. It has broken for Morgan Stone, who's brilliantly tackled by Daniel Brow. Otherwise, he was away. Ratu Kadru on the outside. It's come inside instead to Dan Pullinger. Here's Eastgate and Archie Hill. And over it comes to Jake Bond. Brilliant step, safe with the tackle. Back to Hodges. Resolute defending once again from Mosley to prevent an Albion breakaway. Flat ball, oh. which is dropped by Mead. And the scrum going Mosley's way. Great work there from uh, Pitter in the air to, to make something out of that. Stone almost getting away as well. Uh, worked inside, good, some good quick handling of the ball. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, a mistake uh, knock on there from, I think it was, was it Gabe Mead? Yeah, yeah Gabe Mead. And... Uh, and that momentum's now obviously been halted and it will be a scrum here for Birmingham just outside their own 22. Once again, though, more promising play from Ryan Lamb's side as the water goes out. Torin Clark has just been seen to, for a bit of a shoulder issue, Angus Hodges is currently down as well. Two of the three in the back row. There's a lovely step from Jake Bond as well to break away from a couple of tackles before eventually... Mosley getting that scrum. This is Bond's first time starting at number eight so far. It's his 18th appearance of the season. It's also the first time that we've seen a back row of uh, Torin Clark, Angus Hodges and Jake Bond so far this season. Played frequently at number eight for Cardiff Met last campaign before making his way down to Plymouth Albion did Jake Bond. And, of course, scored the winner against Birmingham mostly in November. Two tries down. The first two to scramble Albion back into the game by Robin Wedlake before Jake Bond's late heroics. Connor Eastgate then kicking the conversion that took Albion a point in front. Last month's player of the month as well, wasn't he, Jake Bond? Yes, he was indeed, yeah. Yeah, he's had a good couple of weeks, actually. I thought he's played quite well recently. Yeah, yeah he's been super, hasn't he? Always a tremendously hard worker, Jake Bond, as uh, Will Safe brings the ball out of the scrum. And Will Sop looking to bring it forward. It's the right idea, but the ball to Elliot Creed has gone out for a line out. And all of a sudden, Rob, that try from Albion has uh, just put Birmingham under that little bit of pressure and all the things that were happening for them, passes finding their man and no mistakes really have, have sort of slipped and Mistakes are happening and Albion, I think, have put their foot in the door and got themselves into this game now with that try. Well, it went long and then it wasn't straight and then uh, it's another line out, sadly, that has gone astray. Spoke too soon there, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Normally it's me doing that. Yeah, I know. Me. I thought I'd take over this yeah, week. Yeah. At least it wasn't just me. I thought you get too much slack in the comments, <laughs> so I thought I'd take over this week. <laughs> Yeah, I've got some protection from that for the moment. <laughs> One or two issues uh, for Dan Pullinger there, which 
are going to need a little bit of attention. So back on comes the water. And a bit of a chance, I think, then for Mosley as a result to regroup a little bit and figure things out. It's almost a tiny bit... Um, almost shaky at times as they, as they look to break out of their half. It's almost like just like they need to slow it down a little bit, calm themselves down after conceding that try. Yeah, 100%. Well, before the try, um, even though they were packed into their, their 22 for a lot of the first half, uh, they were finding hands really well, uh, keeping Albion out and, and everything, although they were in their own 22, seemed to be going uh, their way defensively and, and coming out. But now that Albion have scored that try and just put that little bit of pressure on. I mean, they missed the kick, so it's only two points. But that little bit of pressure has just forced Birmingham into, into rushing some things they wouldn't usually rush and, and making some unforced errors that they really don't need to make. And that, yeah, that try has just put a foothold in there for Albion to, to get into Birmingham's head. But we'll see if that, that break for that injury will have, uh, will have kicked them back into life here for Birmingham. Jack Dolly then preparing to feed the ball into the scrum. Penalty then, which they take quickly, and over it goes to Allsop, and now here's Smith. Putt did enough with the tackle. Ooh. Back it comes then to Will Safe, helped out by Priest. Back to Jolly, and now Maxwell Whitley. Here's Allsop from Knox's pass. Morgan French helping to drive them forward. Jolly once again and McNulty with Gabe Mead bringing down his opposite number. Jolly once more. Maxwell Whitley looks to kick in behind. Tom Putt is on the receiving end of it. And his kick up field is collected by Daniel Brow and an opportunity for him to run up towards halfway. His kick has got some good length on it too. It's Conor Reesgate underneath it. He calls the mark. And uh, Albion then with the opportunity to bring themselves upfield. Up it goes long by Eastgate. Oh, great length on that. It's deceived Jack Jolly who has to retreat. And he's now under pressure from Morgan Stone and Conor Eastgate. And eventually the ball pinged out for a line out. Great kick that by Eastgate, got some great length on it and put Mosley under some significant pressure. Yeah, and that's what, again, I think that uh, try has, has given Albion just the freedom to to try things like that and a great kick from Eastgate, like you say, putting out uh, Birmingham under pressure, sorry, and Albion now have a line out uh, to, with a chance to push back into Birmingham's 22 and maybe double their lead here. Hodges collects it, all good. Alton. And Bond and Hill and there's numbers over and Tom Putt's got Brown Bampo for support. It's a great tackle. It's an absolutely fantastic tackle on Tom Putt and the ball's gone forward as a result. Crucial tackle on the full back, otherwise Albion were away. Yeah, they've defended really well again here today, Birmingham. We've seen teams against us recently have seemed to have defended brilliantly uh, when Albion have got themselves into these positions and Birmingham are no different here today an incredible tackle there to, to halt the, the run of Tom Putt and he, he had Paul on his right hand side who we all know as the pace to get away from, from a number of defenders so that, that was a, a situation that looked to be leading to uh, a try there for Albion and a, a cracking tackle to stop that from happening Putt's try last weekend against Richmond was his second try of the season. His 13-point game was his highest scoring game so far in 23-24. Kick, kicked uh, two penalties and uh, a couple of conversions as well. In goes the feed then from Jolly. It's a great drive by Plymouth Albion but the penalty has gone Mosley's way Alton disagrees with that decision um, but the referee giving the penalty the other way have we ever really seen Jack Alton agree with a decision from the ref that isn't going Albion's way uh, I'm not sure I've seen anyone agree with the decision no true um, yeah Very true. 
I think we'll pretend to disagree with those decisions when we're around people, to be honest. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> mostly, mostly with the line out inside the Albion half. So a decent chance, actually, this for Birmingham Mosley to make some inroads and try and get themselves up towards the 22 on what would actually be quite a rare occasion. But when they have done it, they've yielded three points from it. As uh, Butler brings the ball down and then wins Mosley the penalty. Olsen kicks the ball away, but I think we'll just about get away with that. Yeah, he will. The Mosley supporters don't think he should, but he has, <laughs> it's fine. Chance again then, as uh, Maxwell Whitley goes into the corner. Good kick, good distance, and a real chance then as we come up towards half-time for Birmingham Mosley to re-establish an advantage. Five points to three, Plymouth Albion lead. Coming up towards the end of the opening 40 minutes in Birmingham. A try from Jack Olton. Uh, after Ty Maxwell Whitley's penalty put Mosley in front. McNulty just being told to shift over to his left a little bit. It's gone long. Oh. Oh, and then it's knocked on by Pullinger. And that's going to be a scrum for Mosley. Uh, in fact, it won't be. That's going to be half time. So. Uh, an early penalty then by Ty Maxwell Whitley to put Birmingham Mosley in front. Plymouth Albion would then knock on the door numerous times in the first half and eventually they got their reward. Jack Olsen running over in the left corner to give Plymouth Albion a five points to three lead at half time. <laughs>
Welcome back then, back underway almost this afternoon with uh, Plymouth Albion kicking, for attacking, for, I should say, from left to right. Mosley about to kick uh, into the Albion half, going from right to left in this second period. It's got a bit chilly all of a sudden, Rob. Yeah, I was just about to say... Um, it, the, the sun seems to have just disappeared over half time. And uh, as we get back underway, Will Safe having to jump onto that one. Pullinger brings him down, helped out in there by Mead. Jolly brings it out. Now here's Smith with Brown Bampo tackling him. Scott Makepeace in there too. And a right old tussle for possession, which mostly have just about come out on, on top afterwards. The ball once again comes out to Jolly and now here's Maxwell Whitley. Priest bringing it forwards for Birmingham Mosley. Jolly once more. Up it goes by Maxwell Whitley. Collected by Duncan. And Alton. Here's Makepeace. Alton once more with it. Clark, French with the tackle. Gets himself back on side afterwards. Ratu Kadri who departs and make peace. Gets in there to make some space for Alton to get the box kick away. Into the Mosley half it goes. It's eventually brought down by Daniel Brout. Maxwell Whitley gets some decent distance on the kick it's gone out on the full and so that's going to be a Plymouth Albion ball inside the Mosley half as a result just a little bit overcooked from Maxwell Whitley and uh, Albion gaining some good territory as a result the first line out of the afternoon for Plymouth Albion Craig Duncan by the way has come on to the field um, for Albion Pup now And it is Connor Eastgate uh, who has made way. So Craig Duncan, the first replacement of the afternoon at half time. Rakadzi helped by Mead. Alton, Hill, Ratu Kadriou. It's come down to Duncan, but Smith is there with him. In goes McNulty. French, Clark with the tackle. Jolly. And Craig Duncan will chase this back with uh, Jack Alton supporting him. Here comes the Welsh full back then. And a good tackle on McNulty to halt his progress just before he gets to the 22 line. Alton. And Pullinger. Halted by Butler. But then the penalty's gone Plymouth Albion's way. Good possession early doors for Plymouth Albion, Jack, as they just look to settle into the second half. Yeah, it's been a bit uh, of an end-to-end -end start to the first half, uh, second half. Sorry, uh, both both teams having some some good views of the ball, and uh, Albion have just won a penalty in their own 22 to give them the opportunity to to get out towards the halfway line and try and double their lead in this game. It's obviously a, a slender lead, just the two points going into half time. Uh, and I think Jake Bond is is down in some there's like considerable pain there. But yeah, Albion have uh, yeah it's been a pretty even start to the second half I'd say. Um, and I think Albion will be happy with that. They'll be looking to uh, stamp their mark on the second half where they weren't quite able to in the first half uh, and come away from Birmingham with with at least four points here today. As it stands, if it were to stay like this, it would be Albion's fourth win, having conceded the first points of the game. But a long way to go yet in this second half before uh, before the result can be uh, can be thought about. 
Another Albion line out then, which Gabe Mead will take. The forwards getting into the mix. Hodges just about collects it with uh, Clemson in there, finishing the job. Rakadzi, really good drive from Rakadzi. High tackle by McNulty and penalty advantage as a result. Alton looks to skip away from Allen. Clark, Putt, Hodges. Brilliant work by Angus Hodges, who looks to break away. Has he got the support? Clemson's there with him. Alton looks to kick it through. Make peace, will chase it. And will come back for the penalty after the high tackle by uh, Sam McNulty. Some good work there from uh, Angus Hodges, pushing Albion forward past the halfway line. Uh, some clever thinking from, from Jack Alton in there as well. And uh, Tom Putz will look to kick to the corner here and get Albion in for their first real chance of this second half here. Ooh. Oh. The wind has oh, it's intercepted not gone, I don't it. Think. It has stayed in play. Daniel Brow will look to bring it clear. He's away from Scott Makepeace. He's not away from Hodges. Priest brings it forward. And Albion effort brings him down. Jolly's kick stays in. Paul Brown Bampo. Good tackle by Safe. And a good ruck as well by Mosley. Have they turned it? No, they haven't. The penalty going Plymouth Albion's way. You can probably hear a quite audible disagreement with that from, uh, from the supporters around us. But Plymouth Albion with a penalty. And it's another opportunity um, to take this probably into the corner it's a bit of a weird sequence of play that the ball looked like it was uh, destined to go out past the post stayed in just inside the line thanks to the wind which is going across the pitch uh, away from away from where we are and uh, Birmingham Mosley just about able to bring it out towards the halfway line looked like they'd uh, retrieved the ball from the uh, from the ruck on the floor and then uh, Albion have won the penalty so it'll be another chance for Tom Putt now to try and kick the ball uh, into the wind here out of touch for a line out which would give Albion a good position to move on and and double their lead here they are Birmingham players up thankfully for him so here comes Tom Putt now another Attempt then at the corner from Putt. This time it's good. And the line out just outside the 22. And Albion then will look to drive deep into Mosley territory with this game me line out. Once again, the forwards going in. It's Clemson who goes up to collect it. And it's not straight, says the referee. And mostly awarded the scrum as a result. Another chance missed there, Rob, for, for Albion to make something. There's been quite a few of those in this game in and around uh, Birmingham's 22, especially in the first half. Uh, I think Albion really need to uh, to turn the screw in this second half. An early try would be would be ideal, but uh, as, as time ticks on and there's just that two-point lead, uh, I think Birmingham will find a way back into this game as long as they are able to keep a, a foothold in it. So Albion really need to, like I say, turn the screw and, and try and make something of this second half early doors here. Well, eight of Mosley's 13 wins this season have come here. Uh, Billersley Common, they haven't actually lost here since January and that was to Rosslyn Park. Their only other home defeat. Uh, was earlier on in the season to Sedgley Park Tigers. So they have a fantastic record here at home, do Birmingham Mosley. And there is plenty of time for them to turn this one around as well and get their noses back in front. Tom Cowan Dickey, I think, is about to prepare himself to enter the, the freight for Plymouth Albion. Just got in for a couple of final bits, I think, before making his way out. Meanwhile, though, Mosley scrum. Pretty much right on that 22 as they look to escape out of their own half. Oh, 
Then it goes by Jolly. Mosley just about working the ball to the back of the scrum. Jolly brings it back out. Maxwell Whitley will kick long. Craig Duncan's underneath it. And it's well collected by Duncan, who charges forward into the Mosley half. It's a very good tackle on him by Allsop. Putt. And Hodges. His make piece. A drive helps him forward. Alton. Looks to kick it in behind, but uh, hasn't quite come off for Jack Alton. And it will be a mostly line out as a result. On comes Tom Cowan Dickey then for Plymouth Albion, his 13th appearance of the season. Back on the bench today after a little bit of, uh, of a layoff. Former Leicester Tigers man, of course, as we know, part of the Premiership winning squad a couple of years ago. It's a good line-out by Mosley, who will look to drive forward. That's a good drive as well from Birmingham Mosley as they come over halfway. And still in possession, but it's been snatched by Tom Cow and Dickey, and Albion now will look to come the other way. Alton, Pullinger, and Archie Hill. And here's Ratu Kadru. Really good break by the centre. Ratu Kadru could be away. He's kicked it to his right, and Craig Duncan's got there. And now here's Brown Bampo looking to run away. Is he away from Allsop? No, he's not. It's a brilliant tackle by Allsop. And the ball's into touch as a result. Fantastic break, though, by Plymouth Albion Jack to escape pretty much almost all the way to the try line. Yeah, incredible pace there from uh, Peter Ratakaju. He was pretty much from a standing start, just bolted away from uh, two or three men, gave it to, uh, to Paul on the right-hand side, who also has some electric pace, but an incredible tackle, as you said, to, uh, to make sure his legs were in touch and give Birmingham the ball uh, near their own try line here. Pat Walton is imminent for Plymouth Albion, but first the Mosley line out, which is good. Up it goes by Jolly. It has gone out. Probably didn't quite get the distance on it. I think he might have wanted. And here comes this change then for Plymouth Albion. It is Scott Makepeace who is going to make way. And Pat Walton is on for him. Incredible story for Scott Makepeace. Last appearance uh, for Plymouth Albion was in 2020. Made his return last week against Richmond. Played against Darlington Modem Park on the 7th of May uh, in 2020. As, uh, here comes Torrin Clark. Seventh of March, I should say, in 2020. We were in lockdown in May, weren't we? Uh, Tom Putt, here's Archie Hill, and now Morgan Stone is away, and Plymouth Albion have another try. Stone, who scored against Chinnah, adds another one to his tally at Birmingham Mosley. It's been a solid start to the second half of Plymouth Albion, and Morgan Stone capitalises on it with a brilliantly worked try. Morgan Stone. Yeah, incredible work there from, from Archie Hill to, to get that ball out wide to Morgan Stone. And as you said in the first half, uh, the pace on Morgan Stone to get away from, from anyone who could have caught him there. And uh, yeah, a great try, great move. Uh, and also I think some, uh, some praise does have to go to uh, Tom Cow and Dickey for the phase before. Uh, first thing he comes on on the pitch and does rip the ball away. Uh, and allow Albion to get down into the corner and eventually make that try happen. So, yeah, some good work there from, from Cow and Dickey. But, of course, Archie Hill with a, an incredible pass there to set up Morgan Stone. And that's exactly what Albion needed, Rob. They needed to turn the screw early doors in the second half, get that second try to put themselves uh, with a bit of breathing space ahead of Birmingham. And that's exactly what they've done. Uh, and they look in, in good, uh, good position to, 
to go on and win this game now. Fingers crossed. Obviously, don't want to speak too soon. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, Tom Putt just taking his time with this kick. The ball uh, being pushed off his tee with the wind. Uh, but it should be on its way any moment now, Rob. Putt then looking to make it 117 points Ooh. for the season. But the wind has completely taken that. And uh, as a result, it is 10 points to three in Plymouth Albion's favour. And as it stands, Albion looking to, uh, to hand Mosley their first home loss in two months. But once again, there is time to go. One converted try, of course, and Mosley are back level. So still a hell of a contest. Uh, Morgan Stone. Up it goes by Alton. And it's a, uh, a mostly line out on roughly halfway just before. Would also be Albion's fourth win on the road this season if they hold on to it. And it's quite handy too. There they are in front, 10 points above, 10 to place, essentially. It's such a tight battle in that sort of mid-pack, in that one at the moment. Really good ruck by Albion, but the referee deems it to be illegal. And uh, the penalty given as a result to Birmingham Mosley. Seven-point deficit for them to overcome this afternoon in this second half. Up it goes by Maxwell Whitley. It's a good kick too. It's good territory then for Mosley. A good attacking position for them to go from here. And we saw in the in the first half, Rob, that first Albion try put uh, Birmingham under all sorts of pressure, really of their own making. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if the second try at the start of this second half will, will have the same effect on them for the rest of this second half. Should be good. Apologies if you did just lose us for a second or two there. We should be back on. Always one or two technical issues during these streams as uh, Jake Bond then brings the ball out of the scrum. Here's Archie Hill. There's no point having a live stream if it's going to be perfect, Rob, is there? Well, exactly. That'd be boring then. Yeah. Keep people on their toes. Yeah, we've got to have at least one thing go wrong. Uh, knock on then by Plymouth Albion, so a Birmingham Mosley scrum just before the Albion 22. As the host this afternoon look to get some momentum going, really for the first time in the second half. Uh, Jensen Borton has come on for Ramaz Rukadzi. Jolly then preparing to put this ball in, but the referee has got a few uh, a few things to sort out first before he can. Jolly this season has been quite a good omen for Mosley. They've won six of the eight games that he's scored in. First points this season came in November. He scored against Rams and Blackheath uh, in terms of tries. Eleven conversions and seven penalties added to that as well. Here comes uh, Rob Knox bringing it forward. Jolly. Maxwell Whitley. Here's Daniel Brow. Brown Bampo with the tackle. Duncan helping out. Safe. Bond with the tackle. Jolly. Knox. Coward Dickey and Walton. 
bringing him down. And now here's French and Borton with the tackle. And Jolly once more. And here's Holsey. Helped on by Southgate. And it's come back to Roach. And eventually Albion have done well to prevent that wave. But penalty advantage for Birmingham Mosley. So the danger still very much there from a Plymouth Albion perspective. Yeah, good, good, good work from Albion to to stop it from being anything more. Um, but a good, really good position here for Birmingham to level this game back up now uh, with a converted try. Uh, Jack Olton's just gone down with a bit of a knock in that uh, phase of play there, but I reckon it's probably going to be a little little tap and go for for Birmingham to try and push one of their big lads over the line and get themselves right back into this game here. Uh, in South Birmingham, which, as we said before, <laughs> not the nicest places to be. But you can't pick and choose, can you? You're going to make lots of friends in Birmingham today. <laughs> yeah, if I make it out alive, I'll be happy, <laughs> to be honest. If I make it back to Plymouth, I'll have done well. I think I have to run away in a second. Straight as, as soon as we finish, they're going to leave our streaming stuff here and just run away. Yeah, exactly. My nan's going to come get me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it is going to be. Didn't get my ticket. A tap and go then. You did forget to get your tap. Uh, did forget to get your ticket today. We said we were going to do it, didn't we, before the game? Completely forgot. Oh, it's going to be a scrum, not a tap. It and is go. a scrum then for Birmingham Mosley. Trusting in that drive, and it's a big forwards pack as well that they're trusting in. I think I could have won 150 Easter eggs if I'd had the ticket. I think that's the draw. Yeah. That's so much better than money as well. well Who needs 150 well, quid when you can have 150 only, Easter eggs? It's only once a year that you get <laughs> Yeah, eggs. exactly. So that really would have been gold dust for yourself there. Especially oh. the price they're going for nowadays. I could have sold them, on, yeah. sold them on eBay or something for like 20 quid an egg. Have you seen them? It's on, it's a, real, a, it? a mini egg, full-size egg is 12 quid at co-op. I think that's the definition of the Cosy Divi crisis what right is now, is how expensive Easter eggs are. <laughs> Never mind Freddo's. Yeah, they've, they're coming now. back down now. The Easter eggs have shot up. Yeah. Astonishing. Back to the rugby, eh? Buying one of those, I think <laughs> it's quite enough for one year, really. Anyway, here come Mosley with the drive. It's come out Albion's way, and Jake Bond will look to escape as a result, but Mosley uh, have got the penalty. After all of that, Jensen Borton arguing the decision. Jack Holton pulling him away, knowing that there's a big defensive job to do. And it looks like it. Oh, no. I was just about to say it looks again. like it will be a tap and go this time, but it's going to be another scrum for Birmingham. They're just keeping you on your toes. Yeah. They're just giving us more time to speak about Easter eggs. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. What is your favourite Easter egg? It's a good question. Favourite Easter egg has to be. Oh, do you know what? It's got to be one of the. Um, what's the the one with the, like the jelly pieces in the Cadbury one with the jelly I pieces in? I know what you mean. In. I know what you mean. Uh, one yeah. of them ones, unbelievable. Popping candy as well. They've got in them, unbelievable. Controversial. I'm not sure about having fruity sweets in an Easter egg. You're not sure about or having a sort of fruity sweets. What like raisins with an and Easter chocolate? Egg. Yeah, I just I, I don't get it. You're weird, mate. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What's your favourite Easter egg, Dan? Uh, it's got to be a twirl, isn't it? <laughs> That's so poor. Uh, it's, it's just it, chocolate. It's, it's extremely generic. There's but nothing else twirl about it. Twirl is fantastic chocolate. chocolate. Oh, it is that. outstanding. Terrible shot. Anyway, after that Cadbury plug. <laughs> it comes not yet. Scrum. Other Easter eggs are available. <laughs> uh, mostly then, look at the drive once again at the Albion try line and... It's a good tackle by Jack Holton on Will Safe to prevent his progress. Penalty's got Albion's way. Fantastic work defensively from Plymouth Albion. And the mostly threat for now is repelled. And that 10 points to three lead for Albion is uh, still intact. Yeah, massive defensive shift there from Albion. 
Uh, it looked like Paul there was claiming a lot of the plaudits after that. So, uh, yeah, incredible bit of uh, defensive work there from Albion that uh, we've been used to seeing from uh, the teams that we've been playing against against Albion. So, uh, yeah, it's a big moment in this game, keeping them out there and keeping that seven-point lead. Uh, and now it's all about can Albion push on and extend that lead uh, to give themselves a bit more of a comfortable last 25 minutes of this second half. Freddie Painter has made his way onto the field for Birmingham Mosley. That is uh, Ty Maxwell Whitley who's made his way off. He kicked Mosley's three points early on in the first half as Jake Bond runs into the tackle, high tackle. So penalty advantage and there is the penalty for Plymouth Albion. It was, um, it was Craig Duncan that went with the first, or the, uh, the last, I should say, penalty. It's Todd Putt this time. Good distance on it. And Albion line out. Yeah, he's kicked well today, hasn't he, Tom Putt? Uh, apart from that one that got caught in the wind and somehow managed to stay in at the, the back end of the pitch, he's kicked really well, got some good distance and uh, put Albion in a lot of good positions to score today. It's Anthony Agodo, I should say, that's come on uh, for Birmingham Mosley. Was initially number 20, uh, Freddie Painter, but... Agodo's taken that one and here comes Pat Walton now for Plymouth Albion looking to run through and it's a good tackle on him uh, by Ryan Roach. Offside was Morgan French. Tom Putt playing with free ball. Daniel Brow collects it. Ratu Kadri who's in there and will come back then for the Albion penalty. Well, another good Tom Putt kick here would put Albion into a really good position to push their lead forward. And Oh, going for the post yeah. here, Albion. So it will be an attempt at three points. It takes them out of range, of course, of a converted try if they were to make this kick. But the wind yeah, has I was just been about to say. incredible yeah. so far today. Yeah, I was just about to say it's, uh, it's quite a way out. Uh, for Tom Putts and as we said earlier there is a real crosswind across this pitch today so uh, this is going to be a very tough kick uh, for Tom Putt uh, which I think has been uh, epitomised there by the fact that Jack Alton is lying flat on his stomach holding the ball for Tom Putt so it doesn't blow away so this will be a, a massive moment in the game here for Tom Putt. It's made it. It's a fantastic penalty kick by Tom Putt. 118 points for the season for the fullback. It's a super kick. Absolutely incredible that from Tom Putt against the wind uh, with a lot of pressure on his back with the scoreboard the way it was. Uh, and he's pulled out a, a quite perfect kick there from just inside Birmingham's half. Uh, and Albion now, as you said, 10 points clear, uh, have that little buffer to uh, relax a little bit, which is not something we've seen in a, in a little while for, for Plymouth Albion. Harry Wilkinson then is on for Dan Pullinger. A couple of shiners for Dan Pullinger picked up this afternoon. As uh, Wilkinson, who picked up his red card, of course, this season against Birmingham Mosley at the Brickfields, uh, comes on. Made himself fairly comfortable at prop in the last few games. In there to help out at this line out, too. Thrown in by McNulty, stolen by Hodges. Alton back to Clark. Looks to drive into the Mosley half. Here's Jake Bond. Claims of a high tackle. Alton putts. Up it goes. 
Uh, well brought down by Daniel Brow. Good distance on the kick too. And is that going to be a 50-22? It is. That's a fantastic kick by Daniel Brow. It's excellently done by Birmingham Mosley's fullback. With the crosswind as well. Super stuff. Yeah, it looked like it, it wasn't going to reach for a second and then just slowly trickled its way over uh, into a very good position for Birmingham Mosley, who can now try and hit back pretty quickly after that Tom Putt uh, penalty just moments ago. Ben Betts with this line out, having come on to the field. And here's Rob Knox. The pass was forward and Albion have a scrum. And we're seeing again in this second half the, the pressure that the try and now the penalty are, are putting on, on Mosley. Some unforced errors, some mistakes being made and just that that hint of doubt creeping into everything they're doing which is putting Albion into some really good positions and everything's going Albion's way at the moment. Ben Betts, who's just come on for Mosley, is actually looking for his first try in senior rugby since 2019. Scored in the Championship Cup for Nottingham against Yorkshire Carnegie. Looking to add another try to his tally Oof. today. Oh, it's a very high tackle Oof. by Morgan French. That's not that a nice one either. Good. And yeah, that's a painful one actually Ooh. for Jake Bond. That was not a good tackle no. at all. That was head to head. It looked from up here. It's very, uh, very. Obviously, hard. the ref was in a close, close position, but from up here, that definitely looked head to head. So uh, high, in fact, that yeah, Morgan French is down as well. Yeah, as Jake Bond result. luckily is sat up, which is a good sign, at least. But yeah, that made oh, that made a horrible sound as well, didn't yeah. it? Um, and the ref is just coming over to his assistant here to uh, to see what the the verdict is. Main focus for now, of course, will come away from the referee's decision and it all goes to the well-being of Morgan French, who is now sitting up, which is good to see. Yeah, very good to see. Mostly coming came into today having actually lost two of the last three. And they lost to Sale and to Blackheath, either side of a 26-14 victory here against Cinderford. As I say, good home form ever since their last home defeat uh, uh, to Roslyn Park in January. No worries. Uh, the last season that Albion beat Mosley here. They did the double over them that campaign. Yeah, especially the second half. 19-7 win in yeah. November 2019 we that year. Connor, Ace, so. Connor Eastgate was on the try sheet that day before that 26-14 win in the reverse fixture. Morgan French then is being helped back off the pitch after that high tackle. Yeah, good to see him back on his feet and uh, and walking his way off with the only real bit of assistance being a, a bit of paper towel on his cut on his head uh, and just a yellow card for him there. But obviously the main thing is that he is OK and he is uh, he's up on his feet and walking off the pitch. So, uh, so yeah, a bit of a... Bit of a scary moment there for both sides involved, but both players back on their feet and uh, the game is now restarting. Putts penalty then is a good one. Another great kick yeah. there from Putts. Been on the money distance. today, isn't he? He really has. Yeah, super kicking. 
he really has been watching your warm-up. I was just he, about to say, yeah, he's he's clearly seen that something's not working for him. <laughs> he's had a look at me and he's worked out. Hang on a second, this is what I need to do, and it's worked <laughs> for him. <laughs> Uh, Jake Clemson then collects the line out and Albion get the penalty. And, you know, Rob, I'm always happy to to impart my wisdom on, on players and, you know, help them help them get to the, the standard they want to be at. So, yeah, I'm really happy for Tom today. <laughs> as well as Dad being, of course. Influential part of the team. On the opposite yeah. side of the pitch. He loves us as well. His dad actually came over to me in the clubhouse before the yeah. game. Uh, and told me my drop kick in this uh, before the game was pretty poor. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, he, he's that fond of you. He's giving you, he's giving yeah, you that, that advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up it goes by Cowan Dickey. Then Clemson brings it down, and Albion will look to drive forward towards Mosley's line. Jack Alton at the back of the scrum. Will Safe goes back in. Having left them all. Really positive drive this by Plymouth Albion with Cowan Dickey in possession as he gets up towards the line. And Albion here are down gets as Tom Cowan Dickey has his first try of the season. A third try today for Plymouth Albion. A clinical drive from the line out. And another five points to add to the tally. And it's Birmingham Mosley th three, Plymouth Albion 18. Yeah, as you say there, Robert, a, a really good drive there. Dickey holding on to it all the way to the line and diving over uh, as he saw the white of the line. And this is what we've been missing from Albion away from home since well before Christmas. And since well before Christmas, this is the first time we will see Albion going into the final 15 to 20 minutes of the second half with some real comfort comfortability. Uh, and looking like not chasing a game, not hanging on by a thread. Uh, so, yeah, a massive try for Albion and they can really look to, to finish this game off and come home from Birmingham with, a, with all four points, maybe even five at this rate. It is the... Come on, die, die, die. Ollie Allsop then getting Mosley back underway. Underneath it is Lewis Holsey. Back it comes to Will Safe. Now Daniel Brout. Ratu Kadriou bounces off him. Good offload that to Rob Knox. 